hello and welcome to magic autocad in this part of tutorial we are going to learn how to draw gears so before you start working please make sure you switch your workspace to 3d modeling because we are going to do 3d gears so let's get started first of all let's go to the circle command and then we make a circle here of diameter three type in three and then enter let's go back to the circle you click on circle then you're gonna click on the same center and then let's come to the diameter and type in a diameter of three point three 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 okay then enter then now we'll go back to the circle the third circle then we click on the center and type in another diameter of 2.571 enter yeah you have to be careful the way you type in your unit the circle might be too small or too big but you can zoom it in and out then now let's go to the line command <clears throat> they will draw a vertical line here let's track it from the center then we start it somewhere here then we we'll bring it across make sure it's strictly vertical okay then from here let's go to the offset go to offset let's make an offset of an offset distance of point zero point one zero seven yeah offset distance of zero point one zero seven and then you enter then now let's offset this vertical line on both sides to the left and to the right then you press escape now let's go to the trim command you click on the trim command then enter let's start by trimming this portion here we don't need then we trim this circle we don't need we trim then we trim this other part of the circle we don't need escape then let's now delete these remaining lines then including this accent main okay then erase okay now you've you see that we've made an arc here we've made an arc here then from here let's go to modify under modify you're gonna see array so you click on polar array then come to the arc and you select then you press the enter key then you come to the center then you click then now you're gonna see this polar type pop up then go to items then the number of items here type in 18 then enter then come over here make sure your associative is not active okay if it is checked like this uncheck it then you go to close there we are then now let's go back to the line command and then we we'll go to the center i will make a horizontal line okay let's make let, let's track it a horizontal line from here then click it outside then come across and click it outside this other way let's go back to the offset and we type in an offset distance of 0 0.1309 you take time to type in your figures okay enter then let's offset this line on both sides let's go back to the offset and type in an offset distance of 0 
zero four seven enter then now let's come to this same mid line and offset on both side very good let's go under the draw panel and here you're gonna see this act okay then you click on this three point act then you come to this point then you click at the end point sorry let's activate the end point end point close then you click on this end point of the act then you come up here then you click at the intersection take it back inward and click on this second line okay then go back to repeat the same on the other way you click at this end you bring it directly upward and then at intersection then you take it inward to click here at this other intersection at the end point there we are now let's delete this construction lines yeah delete the construction lines erase then we'll go to the trim tool and uh, we trim enter to trim this outermost circle then from here let's go to the fillet we'll go to the fillet command and type in a fillet distance a radius sorry a fillet radius of 0 0.062 okay 0 0.062 enter then let's select multiple then we come up here and do a fillet here do another fillet here then escape then now carefully select this other part of the arc then select the rest of the axe okay select here very carefully select here then select this one then you delete then now select this portion because it's not yet joined they are still separate line and they go under modify you're gonna see the join command and then you click on the join tool or you select and you type in j then now you're gonna see that we have a simple a single unit okay so from here you go back under modify and you click on polar array then you select your object enter then you come to the center you click on the center then let's go back to the items and type in 18 then here enter here we have our items from here let's quickly go under the modify command you drop down and here you're gonna see this blend curves okay you click on blend curves then you're gonna join any two points okay any two points of these objects then let's click here and here we have that join then now let's go back to polar array we click on polar array then we come we're going to carefully select this part then sorry enter then we come to the center point okay the center and click on the center we go back to items and type in 18 okay everything is 18 18 18 enter then make sure your associative is not checked then you close so you're gonna see that we have all our points now let's select everything and join okay select everything we we'll go to the join command and we click on join so from here you're gonna see that everything has been joined to one let's go back to the circle 
go to the circle click on circle you come to the same center then you come to type a diameter of 0 0.5 point 0.5 enter go back to the circle you come to the same center you go to the diameter and type in a diameter of one sorry enter then let's go back to the circle then you come to the same center then you come to diameter and type in two yeah two then enter here we are then now you can now delete this other circle race then let's go to the home icon to southwest isometric view to continue from there okay from here sorry from here we're gonna go to the press pull command then let's select somewhere here at the outermost space let's try and select here then you click here you press pull it upwards and type in a height of 0.5 enter okay then now let's just try and shed to see what we have oh sorry yeah let's just try and shed to see what we have okay we'll put it on hidden let's put it on hidden now we've made a gear let's go back to press pull then let's come to these two inner circles and we'll click and then we'll press pull up to a height of 0.5 enter escape now let's try to orbit to see what we have okay so if you can orbit you see we got something like this then let's go back to press pull go back to press pull and uh, we hover our cursor here then let's click sorry let's click somewhere here and the press pull at a distance of 0.25 okay enter from here our gear still need the key so let's go to the top view go to the top and click there and then make sure you come to the snap cursor and you paralyze all the points okay then From here let's go to the rectangle you click on rectangle just come here and you make an estimate to just draw just estimate and draw here okay you click here okay and click here then let's try and obit it again about this way okay there we are let's turn off this grid then you go to extrude okay then you select this line as polyline then enter then pull it down okay just pull it down and click somewhere there from here we're going to use the boolean command okay we we'll go to subtract we we'll click on subtract first of all we we'll click on the object where we are to be subtracted from we'll click then enter then come to this second object that we are subtracting and then click then enter so we go back to the boolean and click on union then we select everything and enter so here you're going to see that our gear has been made so if you're trying to obey it sorry thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.